on this day in AFB history, August 19, 2000. One of the great things about our country is the fact that we're all free. But sometimes that freedom is taken away. I'm talking about people getting stuck. Stuck in the mud, stuck in a tree, stuck in places they had no reason to be in in the first place. Oh, you old stick in the mud. It could have been worse. He could have tried to climb through the window. Chris, smile at Dad. We're, we're so proud of you. Kid Motel. Kids check in, but they don't check out. Reason number 12 not to take Grandma to the Amazon. But she's so good at the rope bridge back home. Not only do they both get clean, but you don't have to use a stopper in the drain. No, she's stuck there. Sometimes astronauts need a little assistance leaving the capsule. She's, a, she's stuck! One small step for man, one impressive re-entry. That was, that was like one of those T.J. Hooker roles she did at the end. That was very impressive. You wonder where the next generation of great actors is coming from? Not just New York or L.A. They're in cities and towns all across the country. And while we're getting ready for them to embrace stardom, let's take a peek at how they're doing. This is how the Spice Girls got rid of the weaker members. I love it when they break the fourth wall, but I prefer it when the actors do it. <laughs> what this play really needs is a man with a turban. <laughs> now that's theater. Oh, excuse me, lady. Some people have the theater in their blood. For others, it's the other way around. You know, open casting calls aren't always such a bad idea. I smell a Tony. Tony? What are you doing up there? By the way, since when are overalls traditional Egyptian clothing? Tony! See you on Broadway. Yeah, the show must drag on. <laughs> You've heard the expression, TV is a vast wasteland. Well, here are some new shows on the schedule that will make it a little more vast and certainly a lot more wasteful. Coming up later tonight, 